Hey you guys, it's P, the Sagittarian Goddess. Where I am, the sun is getting ready to set and it is so beautiful, you guys. I want to show it to you all. Isn't that beautiful? I love the colors of the sunset. I'm sure I'm not the only one that likes to stare at the sky when the sun is setting. I like to stare, I like to stare at the sky in general. I am obsessed with stars the sky i'm obsessed with life itself so i figured what better time to record a video than while the sun is setting and talk about the scorpio woman when it comes to love the scorpio woman when it comes to love this is a woman that has many secrets she doesn't share herself with everyone so when I saw the sun setting, that really reminded me of the Scorpio woman and how she is when it comes to love. It's like you see something very, very beautiful, but you can't quite understand how it's so beautiful, how it's so magnetic and why you're so attracted to it. So of course, the colors, of course, you know, what you see, you know, the, the physical aspects of the sunset is beautiful. But the depths of it, where where it comes from, you know, the the science the science behind it, it reminds me of the Scorpio woman, because the sun is setting, so you don't you don't really see everything once the sun sets, once it becomes nighttime, you don't really see everything as clearly, and this reminds me of the Scorpio woman's energy when it comes to love. When it comes to love, the Scorpio woman, she. It's very mysterious in her love language, in her relationships. She's very private. She's a very private woman. She is very, she can come off as very reserved to people who don't know her or those who she don't let in close enough to get to know her. She can be very, very mysterious in this way, keeping her closest relationships, friendships to herself she can be possessive in this way so when the Scorpio woman is in a love connection she requires someone who respects her privacy this is like one of her biggest things Scorpio woman you must respect her privacy and this could play a part if you are a Venus in Scorpio if you have a moon in Scorpio Sun maybe so but I feel like the Scorpio energy really comes out when it's in a planet other than the sun when it's deeper than the sun than the ego than the self and the life path because you're going to clearly see that with the Scorpio sun but when you get into the moon and your Venus these things don't come off right off right away these are things you won't know about the Scorpio woman right off some of the things the Scorpio sun will keep to herself but a lot of it you will see because it's the sun. So when you get into a woman with a Scorpio moon and a, and a Venus in Scorpio, you're not going to know this about her right off the bat. Once she starts to talk and open up a little more, then you will see, oh, there's Scorpio. There she is. She doesn't, the Scorpio woman, when it comes to love, she doesn't let everything out at once. She does a lot of observing she observes her surroundings you see i'm looking around because i'm out here by myself you guys and you know i have to watch out for wild animals and wild people okay because folks are crazy and that's the energy of a scorpio they like to scope out things even about their love partner they're going to scope you out they're not going to give you too much until they they've gained enough information to do so the Scorpio woman is a woman that preserves herself. She's going to pres preserve herself until she feels like it's safe enough to come out and play. The Scorpio woman can be a tease in, in her romantic relationships. So she's going to need someone who's going to be a bit patient with her. She's going to need someone who is going to respect how slowly she can move when it comes to a romantic relationship. Because if you're moving too quickly, this can totally turn her off and you may not get another chance with her. 
because she must feel safe. She must feel as though she can trust you. Trust is super important to the Scorpio woman when it comes to love, when it comes to romance. The Scorpio is a fixed water sign. She's very emotional, but with Scorpio being ruled by Mars and Pluto, she is not going to share a lot. She's a lot of this is going to be hidden and she's going to do a lot of hiding her own emotions. She can have a hard time opening up emotionally to her romantic partner, especially early on in the relationship, probably for years. It's like the Scorpio woman is the woman similar to Sagittarius. Sagittarius is more extroverted in, 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 in expression, but the Scorpio woman is more introverted with with their expression even if the even if a sagittarius woman is is extroverted in her expression she could be she can have an introverted personality type and this could keep her from opening up so much scorpio is the opposite the scorpio is going to have a difficult time expressing those emotions because it's so deep and the Scorpio woman knows that it can be a lot. It's a lot for the Scorpio woman. Emotions are a lot for the Scorpio woman, for other people. The Scorpio woman can be intense in this way. They can be very intense and they can, for a long time, the Scorpio woman in, with love, she can be hesitant to express herself because usually a Scorpio woman has endured heartbreak. She knows what that feels like. So trust is very important for the Scorpio woman in a love connection. She's not going to understand that she's not going to give you all of her eggs. She's not going to do that and not have more eggs in her back pocket. She's not going to do that. She needs to be able to trust you and she needs you to res also respect that about her. That she's not going to share everything with you. She's just not going to do it. Um, she likes to keep some things for herself only this is this is her uh self-preservation she she likes to to have something just for her just for her you have to understand this about the scorpio woman when it comes to love i want to try to get this sunset in my background y'all because this is just too cute hold on let's see that don't look as good that don't look as good but anyway i showed it to y'all earlier but yeah the scorpio woman she is very vibrant once she opens up to you she could be very vibrant like you cannot know like who you're dealing with when she does open up to you you could be like hold on who is this but then she can easily shut down if she feels overwhelmed with her emotions the scorpio woman in love likes romance yes the scorpio woman in love she likes romance she likes to go on dates but she likes to go on dates more so in a more private area the scorpio woman can be very private she can be so private that even if she has other extroverted signs in her chart it doesn't matter wherever this scorpio energy is whether it's in the moon in those emotions and and thinking or the venus especially the venus she can be very private to where she likes seclusion she wants to be secluded with you like this is this is the woman that you need to take to a cabin you need to take her out somewhere in the woods like where i am a little a little uh go camping with her if she likes the outdoors everybody don't do the outdoors but if she likes the outdoors take her to a cabin go camping with her go on a road trip also a scorpio woman would really like something in solitude like a candlelit dinner on a rooftop with just you and her the scorpio wants to feel this deal they don't have to worry about overwhelming others with their emotions the the scorpio woman can be very hands-on in private she likes this she likes privacy in her love life the scorpio woman loves privacy in her love life when she is showing love towards her partner she she really prefers solitude this doesn't mean that the scorpio woman is ashamed of you it doesn't mean that she doesn't want to be seen with you it doesn't mean any any negative things it's just her nature this this is where she is able to be herself more easily it's in 
in in privacy in solitude and so taking her to like a party or something and trying to be romantic with her especially if you and her haven't been dating long or been together that long you don't know each other that well she's going to be very disappointed because the scorpio woman wants to get to know you on a very very deep level she can't get to know you on a very very deep level if you're surrounded by people and a lot of commotion that is distracting you two from each other the scorpio woman hates this she hates this um <laughs> and hate is a very strong word she hates this this will turn her off if you two are in the process of getting to know one another this is going to completely turn her off and she's not going to feel like she can get to that safety zone with you the scorpio woman in love can be very intense so they like to build that bond up with you first personally intimately alone with you in in, in your in your private moments with you um alone first then they'll be up for all of those outings with lots of people not saying that the scorpio woman doesn't enjoy she enjoys fun she enjoys crowds but not with a stranger she 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 doesn't like that so get to know her first get to know her deeply as a person as an individual don't bring crowds in and stuff like that she's not going to like that she's not going to appreciate that at all so the scorpio woman when it comes to romance she is a, going to be fun Yes, the Scorpio woman is going to be fun. How she's going to be fun? Because she is going to give it all. She's going to give her all. She's going to risk getting her heart broken. While she's, while, I know that sounds crazy, but she's going to risk that. That is the Scorpio's heart. When they enter into a love connection with anyone, with someone or, or whatever, they consider that as a risk they know this is a risk so don't play with her do not play with her when it comes to having a connection with her like even if you're having an open relationship which most scorpios aren't going for that they can be very possessive but for those who could be in an open relationship or dating multiple people in the process of dating you're not just dating one person you're dating more than one person yes the scorpio woman likes to have fun but the difference is the Scorpio woman only really has fun with someone she knows. Like if it's a stranger, she's going to be so fascinated by the thought of not knowing you. She's not going to be able to just let her hair down and have as much fun with you. That's why the Scorpio likes to have one-on-one -on -one interactions with people because they can get overwhelmed a lot with the energies of another person. The Scorpio, although they're very strong emotionally, that doesn't necessarily mean they want to be surrounded by it all the time or with a lot of people you know they 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 want to be selective of how they use their energy because it can be a lot so the scorpio woman is going to want to have fun with someone they know if they don't know you like <sighs> that's what they need to be doing getting to know you they can't they can't necessarily it's not saying that the <laughs> that the scorpio woman can't can't have fun with someone they don't know all the way it's just the scorpio needs a certain level of safety whether whether the relationship between you and her is platonic or serious friendship the, the scorpio has to continuously get to know you the scorpio is the investigator you guys she's an investigator and so she's going to constantly get to know you but she has to know a certain amount about you in order to have fun with you guys she don't she don't feel comfortable having fun with a stranger or any of that she is going to want you to show yourself to her the scorpio woman is going to want you to show you wait a minute to show yourself to her before she shows herself to you are you able to handle that are you able to handle being vulnerable with her before she's vulnerable with you
Are you able to do that? Vulnerability is so important to the Scorpio woman. The Scorpio woman wants to be vulnerable, regardless of how difficult it can be. She wants to be vulnerable. Scorpio woman wants to be, be vulnerable, but she wants to be vulnerable with someone who can be vulnerable with her. She wants to share that intensity. She wants to experience that intensity. She wants to create a bond with her romantic partner through that intensity. Are you able to do that with her? This is what determines whether or not your relationship with the Scorpio woman is going to be serious or not. And usually she don't, she doesn't do connections that aren't serious enough. Like if it feels as though everything is surface, the Scorpio woman is not going to be very interested. The Scorpio woman won't spend a whole lot of time around you if everything is on the surface. She wants to go deep. She wants to see who you are. She wants to understand your soul. She wants to understand your motives. The Scorpio woman is very intense. And just like any other sign, it takes a special person to have a romantic connection with the Scorpio woman. It takes a special person for her. Wow, you guys. The Scorpio woman is so interesting. She's so interesting. Her mystery is incredible. She has so much she wants to share, but she's not going to share it with just anybody. You have to meet the requirements for her to share who she is with you. She will only go so far. You guys, do you know a Scorpio woman? What was your experience? So you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video on the Scorpio woman when it comes to love. What a beautiful woman. What a magnetic woman she is. You guys, this is the Sagittarian goddess. The sun is going down and it's time for me to get going. So you guys, I hope to see you all in the next video. Drop me a comment down below. If you made it this far, that means you done hung out with your girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is the Sagittarian Goddess, and I will see you all in the next video.